Should the recent murders in the Philippines affect your trip to the Philippines or moving to the Philippines? Um, I'll tell you now, these are not new. Um, it, there's been a few over the last few days, at least three murders. Um, but I will say they happen on a regular basis. Um, I've seen all sorts in the Philippines. And you've, you've got the... The ten reasons that normally happen to people, which I've covered already. And then you have the random stuff as well, uh, which doesn't happen as often, but was a prime example with Ian Griffiths being accused of a child murder. Um, he wouldn't even been able to physically have been in the area at the time, but that doesn't stop the court trying to pursue him for that. Um... Everything's been proven is fabricated, etc., etc., but it doesn't stop the court system. You just have to reduce your risks. It's as simple as that. That's, that's all I'm asking people to do. Be aware these things do happen. And I know some people are going to justify say, oh, but they happen anywhere in the world. Yes, but the, the more lax you are, the more prone you are to something happening. Um... Getting drunk late at, late at night and arguing with people in unknown locations, um, arguing with Filipinos you don't know, um, because that's probably been one of the biggest things that has affected people more than anything else, is shouting the mouth off at a wealthy Filipino that's become wealthy often on the back of corruption and gangster type tactics as such they don't like being shouted at they'll go to the car and get a pistol um, you just have to prepare yourself that this is not the West this is a country that has a lot of issues internally this is a country that could be amazing to live in but you have to be more cautious of what you say what you do and just prepare yourself for a bit of a change. I find if you treat everybody with respect, etc., generally nothing happens to you. And I know it's a couple of the, the recent things have been related to money. First thing I want to say, any money transactions I do happen inside the bank. I don't leave the bank with the money. I don't go outside the bank with the, the buyer. The buyer comes into the bank, I transfer the cash to him in the bank, and then I walk away. That's it. He then will put it in his bank account. That's it. Never carry any money whatsoever. It's one of the highest risks of something going fatally wrong. Um, lending money, another one. That's a very high risk. There's lots, lots of reasons things go wrong, but it's normally financial in some way. As such, edge your bets. Prepare yourself for things that go slightly wrong or prepare yourself to protect yourself from it but one thing is don't protect uh, expect the system to be there to protect you um i'll take this off off grid a little bit haiti haiti if you stole a chicken you could take seven years to get get to court if you were a drug dealer and you had enough money you could be out that afternoon You'll find in the Philippines, before, before things get processed, you can pretty much cancel a lot of um, issues. Um, it's why some of the police will take bribes for motor, motoring offences, because before they fill all their paperwork out, um, a lot of them would rather take 500 pesos than write you a fine for 1,500 that goes to the state. So be aware, the system has corruption in it. It's famous for it. But at the same time, if you protect yourself against it, prepare yourself for it and adapt to it, your re risks reduce significantly. Um, I talked before about a security guard, guard that was fired by a friend of mine because he'd done something that did seem right, um, made him look disloyal, and he was basically a driver that was taking his kids, my friend's kids, to school. Now you can see why. The Palawan incident looks like it was a driver that actually killed everybody and took the money. Um, 
you just have to be, I wouldn't say paranoid, but you just have to be vigilant and be aware that not everybody thinks the same way you do. A lot of the problem is people think short term, they don't think of consequence. As such, they're prone to doing things that they shouldn't really do and they don't worry about it until they're cool. Right, thanks for watching. Yeah.